What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is Chris from The Missing Link and I got another deck profile for you today. Today I'm going to be showing you my Sword Sold Tinny deck list. Uh, there's multiple variations going out there right now. Different style of hand traps and everything else going on in the deck. But this is my version as of right now. Uh, but once Power of the Elements is fully released next week, it's probably going to change. And I'll let you know what I'm changing. So, without any further ado, let's get on into this profile. Alright. So, starting off, I'm running three copies of Sword Soul Moyi. Moyi is your main starter of the deck. Once you normal summon it, you can reveal a Sword Soul or a Tinny card. Oh, Sword Soul or Worm, not Tinny. But Sword Soul card or a Worm card and special summon a level 4 token. And then you can go into level 8 synchro plays with Mo Yi and the token. Uh, you're always going to want to go into... Let me get it real quick. You'll probably usually go into... Chi Shao first. I know I'm butchering the name right now. I'm a little congested, sorry. And that way, Mo Yi, when it hits the graveyard for the synchro play, you get to draw a card, and with Chi Chao, you can search a Sword Soul card. So usually you'll go Chi Chao Chain Link 1 and Mo Yi Chain Link 2 to chain block it. So that's the, the Mo Yi play. Next up, I'm running three copies of Long Yoon. Once again, I'm probably butchering the name of that um for him to summon him out you can special summon him by discarding a worm or a sword soul card and then he gets you that level four token and he's good for your level 10 synchro plays so it'll be cards like baron or uh the level 10 sword soul cards and all that next i'm running oh also when he's used for a Synchro Summon, he will do 1,200 burn damage to you, your opponent. Next up, I'm running two copies of Taiye. Uh, Taiye is basically the backup normal summon that I use. Uh, really, you banish a Sword Soul card to summon a token, get you into level 8, plays again. And uh, you can also banish some uh, Emergence, and that will also do a level modulation. So you can make him a level, you can get a level 9 Synchro or a level 7 if you want to play a level 7. Next up, I'm running three copies of Incredible Ecclesia the Virtuous. Um, she's good for going second, special summon if you don't have your Sword Soul card, or you can bait a Negate out with it. Uh, special summon and go straight into a Moyi. And... You'll be good from there. Uh, that's it for the Sword Soul cards. Next up, let me show you all the Tinnies that I'm running in the deck. Uh, they're kind of self-explanatory. They've been around a while. But I'm running three copies of Ahara. All the Tinnies, if you don't have a monster on the field or if you have a non-effect monster on the field, only a non-effect monster, you can special summon them from hand. And they all have a graveyard effect. The Adhara, you can banish to uh, get back one of your banished uh, tinnies. Oh, my bad. Uh, you can banish and target a worm monster and add it to your hand. So you can recur a tinny card, or if you banish the Mo Yi or the Long Wan, you can recur them back. Next up is three copies of. Uh, sorry. Uh, three copies of Ashuna. Ashuna, you can also special summon from hand, and for its banish, you can uh, special summon a tiny monster from your deck. Also, you're locked into worms when you do that. Next up is three copies of Ashuda, which its banish ability, you can basically just bounce a card. And then I am running. One copy of Shathana. So that's all the tinnies. Next up on the list is my hand traps. Uh, 
I don't run a whole whole bunch of hand traps. I'm not a huge hand trap fan, but I am running three ash. Ash is just ash is ash. She's she's good. Um, Ghost Ogre would be one you can run to help stop the adventure package. And with sprites coming out, you know the hand traps are going to change for everything. But I'm also running the gamma package. The one brick. And then my final two is imperm. So there's all the hand traps. So not, not that big of a lineup. I like to stick around six to nine per deck. Um, this is a 43 card deck, by the way. And then here for the spells, I'm running three emergence. It's basically the rota for the deck. Uh, love the card. It really helps get whatever every piece you need to hand. And then I'm running three circles. Uh, three heavenly dragon circles. That is your out to mystic mine. And uh, let's say you do the Moyi play to get the token and they want to imperm effect value or something the Moyi, then you can chain circle to trigger the Moyi effect and sacrifice the Moyi to, once it's in the graveyard, you will still get your token and then you can get a tinny spirit out and still make that level eight synchro play. Next, I'm playing three copies of Forbidden Droplet. Droplet is, Droplet is really good. And then I'm playing two copies of Pot of Desires. It's crazy for the deck because it can boost up one of your Sword Soul cards in the extra deck. And I'm playing the one called by. Uh, called by is called by. I think it's decent for the game because it can stop and help limit hand trap use and make sure you can get a playoff instead of no plays at all. And then for the only other trap, I'm running the one blackout. So once again, I, uh, like I said, it's a 43 card deck. So next up, I'll go on and show you my tokens. There's a couple Sword Soul tokens there. Now for the extra deck, I'm running three Monk. Can It's kind of standard. And the one Shaman. Uh, for the Sword Soul stuff, I'm running two of the... Uh, Chi Chows, which I know I'm butchering the name. And then I'm running one Ching Ying and one Wang Long. Or z can't pronounce it. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, he'll do more burn damage. He can do up to 2,400 more burn damage a turn. And then he will get... Uh, he gets you... Uh, he gets 100 attack for every banished card. So he can easily become 4,000 with pot of desires uh, next up I'm running double boxia and the one Yazi pretty standard I'm running the one Chow Fang with the one Draco Berserker the Tinny the one Baron and then the one flex spot which I've seen people running the light link uh, but or other cards um, so, but I'm running Psychic End Punisher I've also been seeing people run a third Boxia, or they can run Crimson Blader, or uh, an Emancipator Drugite. Like I said, sorry guys, I'm I'm congested right now. But um, if you all want to see a test hand video, you all can go on and try to get this video to 50 likes, 30 to 50, and I will do a test hand video. And... Uh, it will be fun. I'll show you the plays that I do. Uh, but before I end the video, let me go on and get into my side deck. I'm running three Nibiru. I almost forgot about that side deck. Uh, nib is Nib, but uh, everyone can usually play around it nowadays. But once Sprite and Tier Limits and all that come out and Power of the Elements, this is going to be taken out for sphere mode so go on and get your sphere modes guys that's going to be a good card and then i'm playing lightning storm and the one feather duster because i hate back row uh back row is not fun at times to play against and then i'm playing three anti-spell 
three rivalry, the third imperm, and the one red reboot. But yeah, guys, that is the deck profile. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and have a great and wonderful day. Don't forget to share the video. I'll be posting more here soon. Have a good one.